you want to learn how to remove stains from suede jackets, I'm here to show you. I purposely spilled margarita on my suede jacket, which has salt and sugar, double whammy. But I was successful in removing stains from this jacket. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do that too. Not so eloquently as you just put it, sweetheart, but ultimately, yeah, that is... Oh no! Not the shirt! Oh, but take oh. my eyes, but not the shirt. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty much what I believe, Sarah. Okay, so I didn't purposely spill my drink. I, I can't hold my tequila. There, I said it. Thankfully, the incidental nature of the spill makes these results all the more satisfying and believable. When you're done making jokes, are you gonna get a napkin? Do you know what? I think I've improved it, actually, against all odds. I think I deserve a design award. For materials, you'll need two horsehair brushes, apple cider vinegar, a suede brush, a suede eraser, suede cleaner, and a beard trimmer. If the area is stained as opposed to just dirty, take a damp cloth or a paper towel and pat the affected area. Use a small horsehair brush and dip it into the apple cider vinegar. Many websites tell you to use white vinegar, but apple cider is more gentle. The pH of the apple cider vinegar will lift set in stains easily without damaging the suede. It also removes odors and scuff marks. Brush in circular motions if possible or in firm strokes. Allow this to dry. The next step is important. Take your eraser and firmly stroke the dried area in the same direction. More stubborn suede can be stroked in circular motions. This rubber eraser removes dirt and debris while restoring the natural nap texture of the suede that became hardened due to the drying process. You may end the suede cleaning process here if the color and texture have gone back to normal, but I take it a step further to make sure the sugar and salt stains are truly gone. The final step would be to lightly brush with a dry horsehair brush and remove all eraser fragments. But when the stain is truly set in, I use the harsher suede brush to nap the leather even further and penetrate deeper. This may cause the suede to look a little looser and achieve that patina status earlier. So don't take this step if you're nervous of the napped look. After using the suede brush gently, I add suede cleaner to clean, soften, and restore the suede in nap to its original state. Then I pass the horsehair brush once more. I noticed a set in stain that still survived the procedure. So I spot treat that area, following the previous steps as necessary until the stain disappears. If you took the brushing and napping a little too far and the suede looks like it's having a bad hair day, use a beard trimmer on the lowest setting and run it through the affected area. This will trim the nap and keep it clean and tight. On this particular jacket, the nap was lower than the trimmer setting, so I was pleased. Take a moment to subscribe if you found this short video useful, and stay tuned for more tips from the Suave Entrepreneur.